Oh yeah, it's double. Double or again. Hey there, so what is carob? Carob is a, uh, it's technically a legume, a leguminous pod type of fruit. And I'm going to share some interesting information about that. So it tastes like chocolate, essentially. It's that chocolatey taste to it. And the good thing is that carob does not have all the toxic qualities of cacao chocolate. Um, as you probably know, chocolate has lots of toxins in it like caffeine, theobromines, and all sorts of you know bad stuff that we don't want to be eating, stimulants and all that sort of hooey. But carob doesn't. And carob is something that we can actually get raw. A lot of people think that chocolate can be uh, manufactured raw, but it's impossible. Chocolate must be cooked and processed or else you're not going to get it. And apparently they take the, uh, the fruit, the cacao fruit, which is edible, but there's such a, a small amount of this fruit on the, uh, the, the cacao beans that to eat it is it's a lot of work. Even if it tastes nice, it's a lot of work. So what they do is they pile in a giant mound, bigger than buildings, using bulldozers, a huge heap of the uh, fruit. And like a compost pile, it gets hot in there. So even if they don't cook it, it gets cooked. It gets hot in the compost pile. Raw chocolate is a lie. And why would you want to eat raw chocolate anyway, which is full of toxins when you can eat carob? Carob, also known as St. John's bread. And the reason it's known as St. John's bread is because when St. John the Baptist went out in the desert for 40 some odd days or whatever the story says, he ate honey and locusts. And, well, it turns out that carob translated a million ways into English is known as honey locust. So he was eating carob. And uh, carob is um, native to the Eastern Mediterranean as well as Middle East and, and it's kind of spread because it's, it's very dry and it is good for uh, storing and so it traveled all over the place and, and it, it likes to grow in warmer areas. Now where did I get these raw carob pods from? My friend foraged them in California and so you can find carob growing there as well. In, in I think the 1850s carob seeds were uh, brought to the USA. Now Something that is interesting is that the carob seed right here, called a karat, hmm, karat, that's right, 24 of these seeds were used to weigh precious metals. This seed here is where you get 24 carat carat gold from and so that's some little food for thought or some interesting information it's a little bit tough to eat it's not necessarily something you want to make a huge meal of but it's got a lot of calories and good carbohydrate food you just kind of eat it like that Tastes quite nice. Smells kind of like a cheese, moldy cheese. 
and uh, you're probably not going to find carob like this in the store. But what you can find is carob powder. So I definitely highly recommend, uh, you know, if you want that chocolatey taste, use carob powder. And this stuff, it is raw, unheated, wild harvested, and it smells the exact same as one of these. So, kind of like a bit of a cheesy, moldy, moldy uh, cheese taste. Mmm. And uh, anything you would use cacao in, you can use carob in. It's gonna taste the same, even better. So, some food for thought. Carob, it's what I use in all my recipes. So, uh, if you want some nice dessert chocolatey recipes, I got a, well I use it in my chocolate uh, brownie, as well as my, uh, my chocolate pudding, which is in my ebook. And uh, anyway, I highly suggest you get your hands on some carob powder, very nice. And if you ever have the chance to uh, try the bean itself, it tastes like a chocolate bar. Oh yeah, it's double organic. Did you know I offer raw food coaching? Comment, like, share, and subscribe. Got epic recipes, fitness, and raw food motivation. Connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, and of course, YouTube. Whoa, look at all those recipes. Tasty. Give me some of that.